Right back to this breaking news that we've been following uh, out of Minneapolis, where a building has collapsed due to a possible natural gas explosion, and there has been at least one fatality. This is the Minnehaha Academy. It is a Christian academy from kindergarten through to 12th grade. We are hearing from the Minneapolis Fire Department that there is at least one person trapped beneath the rubble. You can see the smoke there and crews are on the scene. We're, we're going to continue to follow uh, the coverage here. We're going to toss to our local CBS uh, affiliate uh, WCCO and hear their coverage. Uh, well, we're at uh, 31st and uh, West River Parkway. The lower uh, campus is actually down uh, at around 42nd, so it's a, a number of blocks south of here. We're at about 31st and West River Parkway between uh, West River Parkway and 46th Avenue. We're on the very west side. You can see the soccer field uh, on the west side of the building, and the explosion happened directly across from me where you see the the uh, concentration of police officers, firefighters, uh, still pouring water onto the uh, very hot part of this building. But again, that uh, uh, that it, a whole center part of that building has come down on top of on top of uh, uh, on top of whoever was inside. So we're being asked to leave at this point. So we're going to throw it back to you, Jason. Yeah. Bill, I just want to in I want to interrupt minutes. you for a second because Minneapolis Fire has just tweeted that the fatality is now not confirmed. Mm -hmm. Uh, which They're would be their story now. Which okay. would be the best change mm -hmm. of story they could come up with. Believe me, everybody would be Let's happy, so. happy yeah. to hear that. No question about it. Certainly, so many parents concerned right now it about their children. It would be amazing. It would be absolutely miraculous if nobody perished in this in yeah. this building at yeah. collapse. It's absolutely nothing left of that center part. So we caution, as always, as stories develop and a breaking story develops, we're only about 35 minutes into our coverage and our knowledge of this building explosion. Explosion. Minneapolis fire now saying the fatality not confirmed and let's hope that is the uh, the final story of what we learn about this explosion. We have heard reports from witnesses though that people have been taken out on stretchers from this area. We do know that there was construction going on in this area. We also heard from a woman that she says that this is the part of the building where the STEM lab and the campus room are included in this area in this area that you see right here that is now collapsed on your screen from that live sky four area. We talked to a student at the school who just graduated Stephen Johnson, he played soccer. He was actually at captain's practice earlier this morning, and he heard the explosion happen. He said he saw people leaving the building. He heard that people were asked to evacuate this area. And Just now, that urgency, the yes, yelling, gas, within, get out. Within 15 yeah. seconds, this is when the explosion happened. The good news is, is that most of the summer programs have been going on, not at the upper school, but at the lower school, and those go through August 11th. So right now, uh, at least according to people we've spoken with, that students might not have been in this building, but we have I've heard that possibly teachers, uh, administrators in this building, and then, of course, uh, construction workers who were working in this area. New information coming in from our reporter, Reg Chapman, who is in the field. He also spoke with a soccer player, and this soccer player told Reg that they were knocked off their feet, which is no surprise as you look at this live picture from Sky 4, looking at a large chunk front to back of Minnehaha Academy that is currently smoldering. Uh, Reg said that they also spoke with someone who saw people with a gas company crew, and that crew was on the scene before the explosion. So uh, this is video. This is not the current helicopter picture, but this gives you a sense of the flames that were uh, on the scene as part of this explosion. Uh, certainly, if this were a STEM a science lab in that part of the building, you wonder what sort of combustibles there might have been. Uh, uh, Bunsen sure. burners, all of that kind of stuff you'd have in Anything a high school that you science have in a lab. lab. For sure. Obviously, huge emergency response from Minneapolis Fire as they not only trying to put out the fire, but also trying to rescue anyone who may have been uh, trapped. And just, you think logistically, Allie, about trying to account for all of the young people that would be in a building during the summer. Especially now, we're uh, turning the page to August. Uh, a lot of students are preparing for fall sports. Uh, 
football season is starting up, soccer season is starting up, so there are a lot of students coming to this uh, area of the school getting ready for that. Whether or not that, that it's an organized or it's just a captain's for practice sure. like we were talking sure. to with Stephen Johnson earlier this morning. Now, we did get call, a call about this right at around 1030. We, so 40 minutes later, we are expecting a media briefing in about 10 minutes to update us on more information. Minneapolis Fire put out about 15 minutes ago that there was a fatality. Now they've retracted that, which could be really great news when you think about how many people could have been in this part of the building and what type of work they were doing, how many construction workers were there, if there were gas workers there, uh, how many people are possibly trapped. We've heard that people have been taken off in stretchers. So we're just waiting to find out if the people in this area have all been accounted for. Uh, this is the upper campus, so that would be a, essentially a high school, Minnehaha Academy, a private school in Minneapolis right along the river. If you're just joining us, we are in the middle of breaking news coverage here on WCCO, an apparent gas explosion at Minnehaha Academy. At this point, we do not know the extent of injuries, but we do know there are injuries. There are people who have been taken to the hospital, who have been taken from the scene of this explosion on stretchers. You may have heard or seen online an initial report from Minneapolis fire of one person dying in this building collapse. The fire department has walked that back. And uh, as far as uh, a change of story goes, this is a So we have been watching coverage of this, uh, what was being reported as a possible gas explosion at an academy, a school in Minneapolis, the Minnehaha Academy. Uh, that's coverage right there from WCCO, our local affiliate in Minneapolis. And what you just heard the anchor say is that initially there were reports of at least one fatality. Uh, the fire department is walking that information back, which is at least some good news. At this point, they don't have any confirmation of any fatalities. Earlier, we had also reported there's a possibility of someone uh, being trapped in that rubble, still waiting to, con to find out whether that is the case or not. Um, the expectation is that in the next uh, five to ten minutes or so, there will be a press conference to hopefully confirm some of that information. But what we do know is that um, it appears as if in this building, though there are children on this campus, the summer program for this academy was taking place in another building. So most of the children should not have been in this structure. However, there's a good chance that there were teachers, uh, administrative staff, and construction workers working in the area where the building collapsed. Uh, reports of a possible gas leak as well in the area. So that is what we are covering, uh, hovering just above this school. We're going to bring you the very latest, uh, hopefully once uh, um, uh, officials come forward with a press conference and we can get some confirmation. We'll bring that information to you as well. So this is a collapse and possible fire at an academy in Minneapolis, the Minnehaha Academy. You're watching CBSN. We are always on.